Welcome. I'm Meredith, and this is the Oasis Spiritual Empowerment Tarot, all about tarot, oracle, and empowering you. And today, I just got this in the mail, actually yesterday. Um, I was so, I was so exhausted yesterday. I just couldn't, I just couldn't film it. But, um, I haven't opened it yet, so let's, let's open it. Um, so this is the William Blake Tarot. Now, this isn't a new deck. I think this is the third edition. So, I mean, it's definitely not new. Um, this is a deck when I first heard about it. I was really excited because I love Blake. But then I kind of thought about it. And in the past, decks kind of like this tend to disappoint me. Um... So I decided not to get it. I, I didn't even look at it. Um, which, you know. Uh, but there you are. And then um, the other day I was actually reading Blake. And um, I don't know. I just decided to just go for it and, and see. Um, so if you're not familiar with William Blake. Um, he was. Uh, well he was an artist. right? He was, he was a poet. And a painter and um, I fell in love with him through his poetry but then his poetry brought me to his paintings um, I am I'm not an art expert by any stretch of the imagination um, but I appreciate the artwork um, primarily because because again I, I did fall in love with with his writing um, oh and <laughs> can I just say look how cute this is I'm so ready for fall and even the back so I got this last weekend. Um, we, uh, my aunt, my daughter, and I, the three of us make up all three of the Leo deacons with our, our birthdays. So we got together with my mom and went to some local uh, shops, and I found this. So if you like it, they have all different sizes. It's from Earth Rugs because it's just, it's just fabulous. So just... <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Uh, but I love it. I wish it was a little bit. They have like a much bigger one. But it was too big for my desk. Um, so I, I don't know how long this is going to stay here. But I like it. Okay. So. Um, time is the mercy of eternity. Without time's swiftness, which is the swiftest of all things. All were eternal torment. Um, I have seen only glimpses, uh, pictures here and there of this deck. Um, great box. Um, yeah, really nice. Um, I, I do believe. I could be wrong, but I believe uh, that the previous versions of this deck were um, maybe a bit more true to the, the actual paintings. I think these have been reworked a bit um, with the colors kind of heightened and increased. Love the gilding. The backs are nice. Um, yeah, so this is this is a lot more vibrant. Um, so let's take a super quick look at the book. So oh, this is uh, by Ed Burian. And it's published by Red Feather. Yeah, so earlier editions of the deck were based on reproductions from which the cards are derived. <clears throat> However, the inherent energy of Blake's art eventually seemed dulled for tarot use by time-faded colors and indistinct details of these rep reproductions. I wanted brighter, clearer editions specifically for tarot use, not just a miniature gallery of fine art. So using brighter, more uniform colors and finer details. Um, 
And he made some changes. Yeah, so it's not it's not just um, just Blake's art. Uh, so um, Ed Brian added his own touches and and tweaks, and I believe some are kind of um, that might be like some collage together, maybe. Um, all right, and and I'm okay with that because I'm not. You know, I don't, um, I'm familiar with his artwork. I haven't studied it. I haven't memorized it. I, you know, there might be maybe two of his paintings that I'm really familiar with. That's probably about it. So I think for me personally, I'll appreciate this version more because I do like vibrant colors. Um, <clears throat> now he did change the suits. So, um, instead of, you know, our standard tarot suits, we have painting, science, music, and poetry. Um, so I would say that music is probably cups. P oh, painting might be wands. Science, definitely. Swords. And then there's poetry. Pentacles, maybe. Let's see, here's the spreads. Card keywords. Just the starting point. And then it gets right in. And it's got color images of the cards. <clears throat> now, notice we do have an extra card, which I love. It's that double zero for eternity. I think it's fabulous. I love when they have extra cards in the majors. I really enjoy that. Oh, so painting is, is water. So that would be cups. Okay. So painting's water. Science has got to be swords. Right, yeah, air. So science is air. Music is fire. So that's our wands. Okay. And then poetry must be... Pentacles. Earth. Okay. So let's, um, let's get right into the cards. Now they do have pretty big borders, which normally I don't like, but I love, I love the script. And even though, even though um, if you watch my previous videos, you know, I don't tend to like a lot of text in my cards. I tend to ignore it, but, oh, hang on. sorry, I'm dropping stuff. Um, I really like it here. I, I just think it's perfect. I would kind of like maybe a borderless edition or, you know, but um, I do like it. So anyway, so here's our extra eternity card, which is fabulous. And innocence. So this would be this would be the fool. <laughs> Poor dog's going first. Um, love the inclusion. Of the, of the alligator. And now we have the magician or magic in this one. Really, really nice. And mystery for our high priestess. And for our Empress, we have Nature, which I really like. Um, so, and I, you know, because these are based on, on Blake's paintings, you know, I wouldn't expect to see a lot of that traditional, like, RWS um, imagery. 
and personally, I'm okay with that. And the Emperor. Now, this one I know. Um, this is this is actually. I think this is one of the last paintings Blake did. Like, I feel like he did it on his deathbed. I could be wrong. Um, and that's his. He had a whole. He had a whole mythos that he created. Um, so this was his godlike figure, but it, it's not like it's not like Judeo-Christian God. Really, it's his God, I think, or I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Uh, but it's it's beautiful. It's really interesting, and and here we have reason, right? Is that I don't know if these are meant to be titles or maybe just keywords. Um, and then religion for the Hierophant. And you know, it's interesting. Here, we have that kind of, um, uh, like a, like a compass thing, right? Going down. And here we have it coming up. Like, it's almost like... You know, imagine, I, I don't know if that's the intent, but that's kind of how I'm seeing it. So I like that. And, and to me, that's serving as that bridge too. And now we have knowledge, which is a, a wonderful, it, it's got to be a keyword. It's not, it's maybe not what I would, um, tend to jump to, but I think it's wonderful for this. I love the, the snake along the border. That is just fabulous. An experience, look at that. Oh, wonderful. Assessment. Yeah, I normally don't like keywords, but I, I like these so far. <laughs> Look at that for imagination. And you know, it's like he's going into that deep within, right? I don't know what this is meant to be. It's almost like his own sun or his own light. You know, instead of instead of like that lantern. I think that's wonderful. And I love again we have along the borders. I think um oh I forget it. Ed uh, Ed Burian. Um I think he did a fabulous job with these borders. whirlwind right so this is our this is our wheel and I think that's wonderful and you can see like the people energy I think that's lovely. Yeah, I like that. And it's, I like that it's um, like a calm, peaceful uh, depiction, right? There's no struggle. It's comfortable and, and kind of easy. Oh, look at this. Reversal. That's a powerful image. Wow. And transformation. Which, of course, is, is perfect, right? Right. 
This is a really interesting one. I wonder if that's so again, I'm not I'm not um even close to an expert on his paintings, but I think that's the Red Dragon, right? Isn't that? I don't know. I could be wrong. I'll have to, maybe I'll hold this out and take a look at the book and see what the book says. Um, forgiveness. I think that's wonderful. Now, Blake had a really kind of interesting relationship with, um, with like the Bible and, and the Christian faith. Um, yeah, and I, it's probably a bit much to get into here. Oh, and look, there are little numbers on the sides. Yeah. Wait a minute. These don't, what are they? I wonder if these are from like the, the numbers of the plates. We'll have to take a look, because there's a little number. I'm not sure what that is. So we'll, well, maybe I should look now. In case it's, let's say, if it, if I can find it quickly. Um, spread. Words. There's no mention of the numbers. What are they? There is absolutely no mention of numbers, but they're there. Um, wow, that's super weird. I mean, they have to mean something, right? That's going to bother me. Oh, wait, wait, maybe, no, it's just a spread. I don't know what that is. And they're not, the, the numbers aren't in the book, but they're in, right? So, well, wait, let's say there's no number here or here, but then it starts here. Can you see that? I wonder though if, see, I, Maybe he should have boned up on his on his uh, artwork before doing this. But you know, sometimes there are like plate numbers. I wonder if that's what it is. I'm gonna have to investigate it because it's gonna bug me. Um, but yeah, for now we'll just we'll just let that go, I guess. Um, but yeah, I love this. Now we have error, which I think is a great keyword. Right? And I, I feel like a lot of times people can get a little scared by the devil. And, and I think that this also, I love, can we appreciate that little tale? Um, but I, I like that it's a more, I don't know if approachable is the word I want, but it's, it's a more, It's an easier term, I think, for a lot of people. You know what I mean? Oh, lightning. Look at that. Let's get you closer. It's beautiful. And again, I love, I love the way he did the script for this. This is fabulous. And star. That. So we have the constellations up there. That's wonderful. It's going to be really interesting to see how I read with this deck. 
because I think it's very, very unique. But, well. And <laughs> the sun. Liberty. That's a fabulous keyword for this. And union. Again, just, I, I think that's absolutely perfect. Love that. Love the use of the colors. I mean, that, that's Blake. These are just enhanced, I guess, but it's still fabulous. Okay. So now, oh, so we have keywords up top, too, for the, for the minors. So for here, we have Ace of Painting, and this is Generation. I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, it's interesting. I have to think about that. And the two of painting, we have balance. Look at that. Uh. And for the three, we have practice. I'm not going to keep reading them. You can, I'm sure you can see them. Um. Like this one, I you know it's a you know you know what I would like prefer. I mean it. Does, I mean this is Blake's painting, right? So obviously it, his painting is gorgeous, but I like this keyword. I would like to see it with maybe like a shrouded figure. You know what I mean? So, to me, I would like it to be like this kind of hidden unknown. So it could be assistance from yourself. It could be assistance from a person. It could be a spiritual assistance, right? Like, I just feel like it would be a lot more expansive that way. But, I mean, you know, it's beautiful. I love this. Wow, just look at the water. this too. I like that. And to me, this speaks of that excess that, um, for me anyway, the, the tens are, that's what they are. So now, um, oh, so the quartz are different then too. So we have the angel of painting, the graphic muse, and then a child of painting. Child doesn't get a title. <laughs> the woman of painting. Next I'm guessing we'll have the man. Yep. Man of painting. It's interesting to me that we get the angel first. Well, maybe because if we're looking at it from a muse perspective, maybe that's why. Oh, 
Oh, I love this. Look at that. So now for the Ace of Science, and we have Intellect. That's beautiful, too, though. jealousy for the three I think that um, I, th I like that I think that the jealousy can be interpreted in a lot of different ways you know and, and you, know, you can be jealous about a lot of different things and and it can express itself in different ways so even though it might seem kind of specific to me. I still feel like it's pretty expansive. Um, I like this. I feel like he's kind of... Um, just letting himself like sink in like to the waters. Kind of go with the flow. It's just so beautiful. I really love the artwork. Oh, look at this. We have passage for the six. that there but right he's he's here like on the earth right kind of um, focusing his his will and intention and in creating that thing and but up here we have someone else maybe doing it on that different level or or maybe just that kind of spiritual assistance lamentation for the seven Restriction going into the eight. I mean, that's fabulous. And then despair for the nine. It's interesting. Defeat at the ten. Oh, look at the faces. It's really fabulous. And I love we still have that kind of new day. Now we have the angel of science. Bazin, Bazin, I don't know, uh, Demonstrate, I, I don't know what that means. Um, the Child of Science. I love the way he did the borders too for each, you know, group separately. Woman of Science, love this one. And the Man of Science, and again we have that, that compass thing, right? And now the Ace of Music. Now here we have a key word, which we didn't, did we have, oh, I think we did, never mind. 
Um, so we have passion, which, yeah. The desire of man being infinite. The... So it's supposed to be that the pro self, pro -selsion? No, that's not an L. What the heck letter is that? Right? It's not an F because there's not a line. <laughs> the possession, possession. Is it? I don't know. It's infinite. It's got to be. The desire of man being infinite, the possession is infinite, and him self-infinite. I think that's what it means. I don't know. For the two, we have contraries, which I think is good. Um, I'm not going to try to read it. It's a little small for me. Um, I definitely have to... Actually, do I have... Oh, here. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Uh, without contraries is no progression. Attraction and repulsion, reason and energy, love and hate are necessary to human existence. Absolutely. Exuberance for three. Exuberance is beauty. Musings. And I wrote my happy songs every child may joy to hear. On five, we have melancholy. Whate'er is born of mortal birth must be consumed with the earth to rise from generation free. Then what have I to do with thee? Oh, let me give him a... Pleasure. We cannot experience pleasure but by means of others. Hmm. I don't know if I agree with that. Fancies. This world is all one continued vision of fancy or imagination. Discontent. You can really feel that. Clouded with discontent and brooding in their minds. Terrible things. Look at that. I'm trying to get you zoomed in. Happiness. He who binds himself, he who binds to himself a joy, does the winged life destroy. But he who kisses the joy as it flies, lives in eternity's sunrise. So Blake had a very kind of sing-songy, um, um, style. Peace and plenty and domestic happiness is the source of sublime art. Now we have the Angel of Music, which gives me Phantom of the Opera vibes, uh, but just from the name. In times of innocence and holy joy, the joyful shepherd stops his grateful song to hear the music of an angel's tongue. Beautiful. child of music piping down the valley's wild piping songs of pleasant glee woman of music loud and more loud the living music floats upon the air that's beautiful I love that and for the man music as it exists in old tunes or melodies is inspiration 
and cannot be surpassed. It is perfect and eternal. I wonder if he if he played music too. I don't know. Uh, possibly. And now we have an uh, for the art of poetry. We have inspiration. I come in self annihilation to cast off the rotten rags of memory by inspiration, to cast aside from poetry all that is not inspiration. And I feel like there's a real progression with the suits, which often isn't there or not in such a um, distinct way. I would say with with decks. Um, I mean, there are exceptions, but generally, you know, to me, generally, um, there's there's of course that progression through the majors, and then when it comes to the minors and the suits specifically, I don't mean like one, two, three, but the suits, depending on how I feel, one suit might come before another. It, it just kind of shifts. But here, I feel like there's that real progression, um, like a purposeful progression of the suits. Uh, now we have individual individuality. Every man's wisdom is peculiar to his own individuality. Well, that's absolutely true. For creativity, I must create a system or be enslaved by another man's. I will not reason and compare. My business is to create. Now we have harmony for the four. Love and harmony combine and around our souls entwine while thy branches mix with mine and our roots together join. Strife at the five. Thou art a man, God is no more. Thou art a man, God is no more. Thy own humanity learn to adore. For that is my spirit of life. Awake, arise to spiritual strife. And cooperation. Gods are visions of the eternal attributes or divine names cooperating in the bliss of man, obeying his will, servants to the infinite and eternal of the human form. And boldness. The times require that everyone should speak out boldly in arts as well as in arms or in the Senate. Oh man, if there is not a card for the day, this, this is the card. This is the message I'm just saying right now. The times require this, 100%. Okay. Swiftness. Time is the mercy of eternity. Without time, swiftness, which is the swiftest of all things, all were eternal torment. It's kind of a sad outlook. Um, powers. We were placid here by the universal brotherhood and mercy with powers fitted to circumscribe this dark satanic death. And prophecy for the 10. In futurity, I prophetic see that the earth from sleep shall arise and seek from her maker meek and the desert become wild, a garden mild. Uh, this is from, so, I don't know if I mentioned it. So these are all uh, snippets from, from Blake. Like, I think this is from um, songs of, what is it, Innocence Laws? Innocence? There's innocence and experience, and uh, I feel like this is right before the lovely Laika I'm not sure. Um, angel stand round my spirit. And this is the angel of poetry. 
It's a really... <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on there. I'm just going to say. Uh, for the child, I found them blind. I taught them how to see. That's wonderful. And for the woman to go forth to the great harvest... I wish I could see better. End and vintage of the nations. That's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, man. And now we have the man of poetry. To justify the ways of God to man. Oh. Wow. I, uh... Oh, let's take a quick look. I think that's from the Red Dragon. Which is what... One of the few paintings that I know kind of well. I guess not that well if I have to look it up, but. Um, and it's not going to say. It doesn't say. But I think. I would have to look at it for sure, but I think he took a snippet from the Red Dragon. Uh, Alright, let's. Let's. Um, do a shuffle. Oh, I should tell you, these are kind of large cards. So, so they're um, a little bit taller than a standard tarot and a good bit wider. So they're kind of more like oracle size. Um, so let's see how they shuffle. And uh, then we'll pull a card um, and look at the book. Let's see what the book says. Um, Um, yeah, they're very, um, very, well, that's okay. Let's see. Um, they're a bit stiff, but I think in time, you know, break them in a little bit. Overhand is beautiful, though. Now, if, if it's a little, it's a, it's a little bit of a stretch. It's not too bad. Um, but if you have smaller hands, you know, certainly you could. And overhand, they move beautifully. Um, so let's just pick one. I'm going to take a quick look at the book. It doesn't give you much, but, um, you know. Four of Music. So now, again, this is this is our fire suit, which you can say. Um, so four of music. It gives you it gives you an image of the card and color. It gives you that uh, that keyword for musing, and it does give you the quote, which is nice. I wish it was a little easier to read. Um, it's easier on this card to read it here. But so, um, it says, being at peace with yourself, taking the time to reminisce and let your mind wander, relief from emotional stress, combining business with pleasure, focus on playful communication, mulling things over, released and slow pace, being unaware of what is going on around you, feeling lethargic, lazy, or apathetic. And then, so this is really interesting, um, and I think, so it doesn't do this for the majors, but for the minors, yeah, so for each of the minors, it also gives you in the creative process. So for that, it says take a break from pressure and allow yourself to experiment and improvise, to daydream and reminisce as a way of refreshing your imagination. 
So that's lovely. So let's do just a quick um, layout to kind of see how the cards might look together in a reading. So and they are larger, so I guess we'll just do three at a time. Um, I love the feel of the cards. I think they feel wonderful. It's really uh, a nice, thicker, uh, very smooth cardstock. Yeah, I think I love this deck. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play with it and see how it reads for me. Um, but so far, I'm really, really liking it. I think it's, it was beautifully made, right? Love it or hate it. Um, I think the quality of the um, of the cards themselves, of the way that the artwork was curated and, and put together. Um, I, I think it's fabulous. I really think it's fabulous. I think that this may not be a deck for everyone um, because I think that it has a very distinctive voice. And that's not a bad thing. I love that. Um, but I think I think if you're a fan of Blake, whether of his writing or his or his paintings, um, I think this could be a great deck for you. Now, if you're if you're kind of a purist with regard to his paintings, um, I don't know because these have been enhanced. You know, the the original paintings are are not as bright. There may be um, aspects that are different. I don't know his paintings well enough to be able to pick out what's different. Um, so I, I can't tell you. Um, but I think even if you're not familiar with Blake, I think this is very evocative. I think that the keywords that were chosen were very interesting. Um, and it's a very unique deck. And I am here for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm really loving this. So I'm not 100% how it's going to read for me. Um, but I think it's going to be fabulous. So don't go anywhere because we have another drawing and we're almost done. I think we just have two more to go to complete all the drawings. But I'll tell you that... Um, I'm still waiting for two people to respond. So if they don't respond, you know, within that two week period, I am gonna redo the drawings for those. And I I actually have one more deck that nobody nobody seems to want. So I may um, kinda do another video with that one just to see if anybody wants it. Um, so I can't, you know, I can't draw for it if nobody puts in for it. Um, so yeah, so let's do that now. I am I am so happy I got this deck though. I really, really am. I think I don't know about the green, but it's okay. But I love the fronts. I love man. I just I think he did a fabulous job on the borders and wow. Oh, really nice. Really, really nice. So I'm I'm looking very, very forward to using this. So now this drawing is for the Revelations Tarot. I did find, oh, let me move that over a little bit. I did find the book, which is pretty thick, um, you know, pristine. I don't think I ever cracked it at all, <laughs> frankly. Um, and this is by Zach Wong. And just to kind of refresh you, this is the 
deck. Now, if you're not aware of what's going on, I will link that first video um, where I showed all the decks that are leaving my collection because there are still a couple that are, um, well, there's the one <laughs> that, so, uh, it's the, uh, spiritual AF deck. Um, so if you find the video that has that at the end, you can put in for that. Nobody else has, um, there are two that this is what I'm going to do. If, if nobody puts in, um, if I don't hear back from the, from the two people, uh, within the two weeks for, uh, the decks that they won, one was the reigning rouge tarot and one was, uh, healing light. So if I haven't heard from them in two weeks, I'm just going to show them again at the end of another video and I'll put in for a new drawing or maybe I'll just draw again. Oh, maybe I'll just draw again because there were other people who put in for those. Yeah, let's do that. Cause I don't want to, you know, cause other people did put in, um, and I don't want to be unfair to them. So, so if, if the healing light or the reigning rouge appeal to you, find the videos with those at the end, put your names in. Now, again, I did already draw for them. So there are winners, but I have to hear from them. Um, so I commented on their comments and I, I did the drawing in another, you know, in other videos, but I haven't heard back from them yet. So if I don't, I'm going to redraw based on the other people who put in. So you still potentially possibly have time to put in for those. Um, and the spiritual AF you definitely have time for. Um, yeah, so maybe I'll, I'll just link the spiritual AF video um, so you can watch that and see if that appeals to you. But now, let's draw. So... Okay. Oh, wait, is this one or two? Okay, it's one. All right. Oh, fuzz. So, chaotic abundance. You are the winner. So, I'm going to comment on your original comment in, in the video that, you know, that showed this for, uh, for the drawing. Basically, I'll put a comment in there with my email address. Just email me and, you know, I'll, I'll put it in the comment. You can also, if you prefer, just put a comment in this video, right? So I can, so basically, I just, I need to get your address. Um, if you live outside of the U.S., I need your phone number to mail stuff to. So, chaotic abundance, you are the winner. Uh, let me know. You have about two weeks to respond to my comment or, or add a comment of your own and um, so I can mail this to you. And if I don't hear from you in about two weeks, I will do another drawing. Um, so, you know, I understand life happens and I want to be fair. But by the same token, um, yeah, I, I feel like two weeks is a good amount of time. So, until next time, just be wonderful to yourself. Be really really wonderful because you deserve the best, only the best, all the best, and that is my wish for you.